I just realized I forgot to turn the fan off and that's gonna bother you guys the whole time. Hold on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I am back today with another plant video and today's video is going to be a collective plant haul of some plants that I've gotten over the past few weeks. Some of these are from Home Depot, some of them were Valentine's gifts, and surprisingly most of them are succulents. Please ignore my crazy makeup today by the way. I got really bored and I decided to do fake freckles. So um, We're just going to jump right into this. The first ones I have are all from Home Depot, so I paid like 3 or 4 dollars for each of them, I'm pretty sure. But I went with my friend Ashlyn the other day and I just couldn't help myself. They were really cute. This first one is this. And this is a Haworthia tessellata. I had never heard of it before. I think it has a really cool pattern to it. It almost looks like a snake print. The few Haworthias that I do have, I do pretty well with. So I think I can manage this guy. The next one is this, and this one is a Crassula platophylla. This next one is a Cremnocetum crocodile, and I've never had one like this. I've never had any type of sedum plant at all but I hear they're pretty easy to manage so hopefully I can do well with this one. I tend to be able to keep um, Kalanchoes alive and Crassulas, that kind of thing. I am not good with Echeverias or what are those other ones called that kind of look like Echeverias? You know what I mean? I can't keep any alive that kind of resemble flowers. Anyway, this next one is a Crassula ovata, so it's just a little mini jade plant, which surprisingly I do not have one of these. I've had jades in the past. I did lose some a few years ago to mealybugs, but now that I'm more educated on that, I know what to look for and how to prevent and treat them. So. I just knocked one over on the ground. All right, the next few, I think I got these all on the same day. They're actually all Kalanchoes, and I think I got them sometime in January. This first one is from Home Depot as well, and I don't know how to pronounce this. I'll put it on the screen if you're interested. Um, I did have one of these in the past, and I did kill it, and I've only had this one for a few weeks. It's already dying. I do not know why. I'm usually great with Kalanchoes, but this one is losing its leaves left and right, which makes me really sad. If you have any tips for this one in particular, please let me know. Okay, and then the next one, also from Home Depot or perhaps Lowe's, this one is Kalanchoe. Petra's Sunfire, and it says it is a Kalanchoe hybrid. I thought it was really cool. It has kind of purple edges on the leaves, and so I think that when I'm able to put this outside over summertime, it's going to get really purple, hopefully. I think so. Okay, and then I have this one which is from Tagawa Gardens. It's a local nursery in Centennial, Colorado. And I actually don't have the name written down right here, but I do know what it's called. I will put this name on screen for you. I believe it's Kalanchoe Humilis, but I'll double check. But this one is really cute. When I got it, it was already flowering and I was a little worried because I know some succulents will flower and then they die afterward but apparently this is one that just flowers every year thought it was super cute again with the purple on the leaves and this one has kind of like tiger stripes on it which is really cool 
I really want to find a Cal and Koei, um, I think Pink Butterflies is what it's called, but it is one of the ones that puts the little babies on the leaves, but they're like bright pink and I really want one. They were like really hard to find for some reason. The next one, two, three, four, five, six are all plants that I got for Valentine's Day this year. And this first one actually is from Walmart clearance. So we decided the day after Valentine's Day to go get some clearance chocolate and such. And we happened upon this little guy. I do not know what it is. It looks very similar to my Adramicious um, Calico Hearts. So I think it might be related to that one, but it has a different leaf formation. It just has the same kind of pattern to it. So if you know what this one is, please let me know. But I thought it was really cute and we only paid like $2 for it. And we just, we had to rescue at least one because they were dying on the shelf. Okay, this next one is from Ectors. It is a nursery in Arvada. And this one is a Ripsalis. I do not know what kind. It doesn't say. I honestly just picked it because I thought it was really cute. And we paid $3.29 for this one. This next one is also from Ectors. Actually, I think the rest of these are from Ector, so I'm not going to repeat that, but this one I believe is some type of jade. I bought it under the impression thinking that it's a trailing jade, so uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but there were some larger ones that looked just like this that were kind of trailing out, so I really hope that's what it is. And then I got this pencil cactus. It's actually a euphorbia. I don't know the full name for it, but I'll put it on screen if you're interested. And apparently this one is really toxic if you get the sap on your skins. I think the same is true for a lot of euphorbias. So just a FYI there, if you have one of these and you're repotting it, don't get it on your skin. And then I have this little one and it's some kind of cactus. I do not know the kind but I repotted him in this little two inch pot so I could stick him in this little turtle, which I also got from Ectors. I think the turtle was like $6 or something like that. And then the last plant for this entire haul is my favorite one and it's the biggest one and it's not a succulent, but it is this gigantic Monstera Deliciosa. I'm trying to get all the leaves on camera for you. <laughs> Jesse got me that one because unfortunately the Monstera that I already have is not doing too hot. I did last year have kind of a crazy battle with thrips with that one and I had left it on my balcony to dry off after I sprayed it with neem oil, which was a huge, huge mistake. Don't ever do that. <laughs> I sunburnt the crap out of it and I lost a good majority of the plant. So this one is pretty much a replacement for that one. I do still have what's left of it, but I really wanted another big full Monstera because I love that look. I love like giant overgrown plants. So Jesse got me that one. I chose not to film on Valentine's Day just because Jesse and I really wanted to enjoy the day together, but I am hoping to have some more nursery tours coming for you guys very soon. But that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!